Hello and welcome to another video. Today we talk about gains. Not how to make gains, but why I don't recommend to dirty bulk because we will get into this in this video. But first, what is dirty bulking? If you want to build muscles, if you want to gain weight, you know, when people refer to gaining weight, no one, I think, wants to gain just pure fat. Everyone who speaks of gaining weight speaks of gaining muscle mass. So, they should be in a slight caloric plus to have abundance, calories and nutrients to build muscles out of those. Of course they have to train. Anyways, that's not the topic, but people often overdo it. They dirty bulk, they eat in a caloric plus, but not a slight one. What I recommend, a slight caloric plus, but a huge caloric plus. We're talking about thousands of calories often every day in a surplus. I recommend a small caloric plus of a couple hundred, like 100 to 300 calories per day, being in a surplus more than your, than your maintenance calories. But many people do a dirty bulk where they eat like thousand calories plus every day and they just, you know, getting fat. And now let's talk about why you shouldn't dirty bulk. Let's get into it. I have some notes on my phone and I, we will talk about those. Let's go. The first one is your skin. If you eat way too much, if you're prone to acne, your acne will get worsen. You look more puffy and your stretch marks. You will get stretch marks, often not because you gain muscles in a short amount of time, because fat. Often you cannot build that much muscle in that short amount of time. So often stretch marks are a result from getting fat quickly, adding lots of body fat. Mostly they only come from, from only muscle mass if, if you take steroids because often it's not possible to gain that much muscle in that short amount of time. But if you gain muscle and lots of body fat, guess what? Your, your skin tissue can't catch up. It just gets those stretch marks and they will last for a long time and often yeah, you get, cannot get rid of them. Then your look, it will demotivate you. And I experienced that myself. The most amount of fat I gain is in my, in my face and I just, you know, when I was dirty barking a bit, I felt more and more insecure because my face was looking that puffy. I show you here some pictures. No joke. You look puffy in the face and your entire body, you look way less and less aesthetics and you more and more look chubby and you feel like you're not training at all and you're not an athlete and don't associate yourself with an athlete anymore. Then costs. You have to pay more for food because you're eating so many calories. And, and when I was dirty barking, I spent around 100 euro per week easily and now I'm down to 60 to 70 euro per week maybe. So less, way less. Um, so cost, that's another one. Then closing, you kind of need two closets. One for your bulking season and one for your cutting season. Because when you gain, when you dirty bulk, you gain a lot of pounds and then you need bigger jeans bigger shirts, you don't fit in that anymore. And when you cut down, you need a different wardrobe. So that's another thing. Then it can lead easily to eating disorders because if you get used to eating that much every day and you know, you gain weight, you gain weight. And at one point you just cannot stop. You, you crave that. And for you, it's harder to cut down and you take this excuse like, yeah, I'm, I'm dirty, uh, I'm, I'm bulking, you know, I make gains, but you're just eating way too many calories, which won't give you more gains and you add more pounds of fat and fat and fat. And it can lead to an eating disorder with you where you cannot get out of. Your cardio worsens. When you go like I do regularly to Austria and go climbing, you will breathe so heavy. When you take the stairs, you will breathe so heavy when you do podcasts or interviews or something you're like you're breathing much harder and when i dirty bug i experienced that myself i struggled for in long conversation i was like gasping for air and that is not a nice feeling then worsens your flexibility i have this one example of one power lifter i think his name is mark bell and he was he, he told the story he was on the toilet and he tried to reach with toilet paper his ass but he he couldn't reach it because there was so much mass in between. And at that point he said, okay, that's enough. I need to cut down a bit. 
because you're so limited. And the next point is it worsens your range of motion. For example, when you bench press and you get a big belly, the range of motion is much shorter. And of course you get stronger with a, uh, with a shorter range of motion. But when you cut down more or when you do a full range of motion, you are not that flexible and not that strong anymore because you're not used to the full range of motion and can injure yourself much quicker. When you squat, you have so much mass, you cannot squat under parallel. And then when you do, you're not used to it, you can injure yourself and you don't have the strength anymore. Whew. Kicking out all those disadvantages about dirty bucking. Next one is worsens your sleep because your digestion is bad and you have bloatings, you have a lot of gas and sometimes it comes through your asparagus. Wait, 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 wait. Did I say asparagus to esophagus? Asparagus? Yes, I did. I'm German, you know. That's my excuse for everything. <laughs> Out and you throw up and often you just don't sleep that good because you eat so much food your body cannot handle. And that's the next one, digestion. You experience much more bloating, gas. I had really bad bloatings when I was dirty bulking, when I was eating like five to 6,000 calories per day. That's not pleasant. And then probably the most important disadvantage, the most important counterproductive thing is that it actually lowers your testosterone. You think like, oh, I eat like crazy to get huge, but the opposite is true. You make less gains because your testosterone gets lower. If your body fat percentage is above 20% for men and about 30% for women, your testosterone will get lower and lower. So I recommend staying at a body fat percentage for men, 10 to 15%, and for women, 20 to 25% for lean bulking for a slight caloric plus but don't get above that it will lower your testosterone and if you gain unnecessary amount of fat your diet will take longer and will be harder and often at the end you will have even less gains because the longer your diet goes the more gains you will lose on the way and the more fat you have to lose the longer it takes and the harder it gets and the more gains you will lose after all so that is all the disadvantages. I recommend only a slight caloric plus like I do. I burn on average 4000 calories per day. So I eat a slight caloric plus of like 4100 to 4300 calories per day and sometimes 4500 but often then the next day I'm, I'm in a deficit in a slight one. So overall the weekly, the monthly balance is just for me a slight caloric plus if I want to gain weight and by weight i mean muscles because who wants to gain just pure fat if that is your goal eat all the calories you want but if you want to gain muscles only a slight caloric plus and not a huge one but don't get me wrong be in a caloric plus because if you're in a deficit there's it's hard and long term i think impossible to gain muscles and it's impossible probably for the results you're after. So now this video shouldn't make you afraid that oh, okay I, I'm rather in a deficit or always my maintenance calories to not get fat. No, a slight caloric plus is needed and makes gaining muscles so much easier but not the sturdy bulk. But you will notice, you will feel bad, you will feel bloated and many people they cannot even eat that much. But I wanted to debunk this because some people they just eat and eat and eat and take this as an excuse and think the more they eat the more buff they get but no you're actually only adding pounds of fat and I think no one wants that so I ended here all the disadvantage thanks for watching until next time make those vegan gains I hope you're hungry for the vegan gains like I am that's why my name is Vegans because I'm so hungry about the vegan gains and I make the best gains with a slight caloric plus and actually focus on training that is a huge factor why most people don't progress don't gain muscles because they don't know how to train if you want more information about that then check out my training guide I wrote it all down vegans.org the vegans training guide and you will you know what to do you start next week with a structured plan and let's go get stronger more muscular and please do it cruelty free eat plants thanks for watching until next time peace out <laughs>